Okay, so I finally found a wheel that is actually compatible with the Shield TV. Uh, it's not the best wheel in the world. It's got problems, but it is, from what I've tried, 100% compatible uh, with the Shield TV. I'm ready to sneeze. It is a fairly generic wheel. Ay ay ay. Anyways, so it's a uh, it's a wheel that apparently is sold under different brand names and stuff. So it's kind of a generic type wheel. It's also sold as the Trail Blazer and something Drift something or whatever. But I got this one for like forty two bucks with shipping, and uh, it was sent. Whatever. Yeah, it was sent from China. Of course, everything's made in China. Uh, looks like it, it got beat up on its way over. Like normal, when I get something shipped from China, it gets like kicked around. But, it works. And basically, it's just an X input and D input compatible wheel. I already opened it and tried it and played it. That's why I'm saying that everything I tried was compatible. But, I just put it back in the box for the hell of it. So... I didn't really put it back the way it came. The way it came it was in plastic and a bunch of cardboard and I threw that stuff out, so. Yeah, so now it's in here. So it's got a crappy little pedal set. It's nothing special. It's got a little pedal set. This is not gonna be for somebody who's like a big sim racer or something, but somebody who wants to do some casual horse hit racing or whatever. So this is the pedal set. It's, you know, nothing major. It's actually fairly cheap. It's a cheap wheel, so of course it's going to be have cheap quality. <laughs> also, if you find something, if anybody finds something that works, uh, no matter what the quality is, no matter what, you know, how cheap or expensive it is, please show it. Um, it'd be nice to see, because I know a lot of people, there's a lot of people that I've seen asking for wheels that work and... I've seen nothing so far, and I got a T150 that, that works on my PC, but not on the Shield. Um, so, yeah, this is the pedal set. It's nothing special, but you can have this out here if you want to keep this still with one foot and race like that. Or you can just put it away if you don't have the room, and you can race with both feet, whatever. It basically actually has a foam cord at the end of it, too. It's not one of those uh, weird offset things those things that like the t150 has this is an actual phone cord <laughs> so that hooks up to the uh the wheel which comes in the box um just need to get this out of here so this is the wheel again it, it's not like super high quality the plastic it, it does feel a little cheap but it's adequate it's not gonna it, i don't feel like it's gonna break you know, who knows what's going to happen later on, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't feel like it's going to, like, fall apart or anything. It just feels, it doesn't feel like the T150 I have or anything like that. But it feels like it's adequate enough that it's not going to, like, I'm not going to be sitting here like this and then the wheel's going to snap off or some crap. Um, it's not a force feedback, as you can tell, it just does that. And, you know, it's one of those kind of things. You're not going to get really a force feedback for that price for like 40 bucks unless, I don't know, maybe you find something that is not even compatible with anything. I don't know, who cares? Um, well, actually I've seen people get that uh, G-Force, what is that, not G-Force, G GT, whatever the hell it is, but mostly at, uh, you know, like garage sales and things like that and like thrift stores, got that wheel they normally sell for over, over well over a hundred bucks. For uh, five bucks and things like that. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, if you can find that, that's cool. But I know this one's compatible with the shield, and that's the point of this. Not that I know you can get better. I have better, but <laughs> that's that. So that's the wheel. Um, has a basically D-pad. It's buttons. They're individual buttons, which shouldn't really matter because you're really going to use these. To navigate menus so it's not like you're, it's fighting you're going to use this in a fighting game um unless you really want to you could <laughs> um but yeah it's 
it's there. It works in menus perfectly fine. Um, then they have the buttons here. There's that. If you hold the mode button, that changes from X input to D input. The problem I had with that if I was using it on the shield is holding the home. It acts like the home button and holding the home button on the shield brings up the gameplay capture feature. And um, if I do that, it's going to change it over to D input, which doesn't have as good compatibility. In fact, the compatibility for D input sucks. And that makes it so that I kind of can't do much. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. It's also got a shifter on it. It's not like a, just one of these. Nothing like, oh my God, yeah, da, 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 whatever. Um, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, so it's got a, what is it? A right trigger, right button, left trigger, right button. Also, I believe these are also act as, these also act as triggers. So this is left trigger and right trigger. So it's kind of just a Xbox 360 controller, you know, shaped like a wheel. <laughs> uh, this is the analog stick. So it just goes left and right slowly to mimic a wheel. And that's how that works. And so anything that really supports an Xbox 360 controller should work with this. Um, so like I, I used real racing and uh, the only thing that the, the issue with this is there's a bit of a dead zone like that and that. And if you have any kind of settings in the menus for the controls, like any dead zone settings or sensitivity settings, you may want to really lower them because that adds on to the, the dead zone and makes it unplayable so that like you'll be doing this and you'll be like, what the hell? There's nothing is happening and there'll be that much of a dead zone. Whereas if you kind of adjust the control settings, it's more like this, which still sucks. But if, you, if you're just doing a bullshit casual, um, uh, a BS casual gameplay, it may be fine for you. If you just want to sit on the couch and bullshit with some games or if you're a casual racing fan or something. And you don't feel like using your good wheel. I don't know. Or if you don't have a lot of money and you just want a damn wheel. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So on the bottom, it has suction cups. Um, so you can just put it on a table and it should suck to the table. I didn't, they didn't seem very, very uh, strong. Um, but they're there, but the good thing is it also comes with a clamp. So if you have a table <laughs> that will accept a clamp, there's this. So this thing has, um, basically I'm going to set it up the way it originally was. So basically this thing comes like this, you pop this piece off like that, it looks like a dildo. And you take this dildo and you screw it in like that. And you screw in the dildo. Just like a PS Move uh, controller. Then you pop this thing on. And then you take this. And this goes, there's actually two little, there's these two things right here. These go into part of the wheel, which I will show you. Try not to bump the camera. There's these right here. And that, this clamp, basically, I think, yeah, it goes, goes on the front like this. So you're going on the front like this. And it goes in like that. And once it can actually go down. And then basically it clamps down and then you, you tighten it. To your table and it just holds it on with pressure it doesn't screw in or anything it just uses pressure to hold it on so there's that you can put it in your lap i have done that it's not the best experience it's not really made for that but it is possible in fact i have a gameplay that i did doing that but it is so far it works with game stream i would imagine it works with geforce now but i haven't tried it uh, basically, it's just an Xbox 360 controller, so 
it should be recognized as such and ugh, it should work with that with the uh, GeForce Now and anything that really supports an Xbox 360 controller should work with and uh, yeah it's just basically an Xbox 360 controller laid out like a wheel that has a configuration that is similar to what you see in most racing games today and a few years back as well so you know that's that it also has paddles on the back there's the flappy paddles I don't even know what that's mapped to I've never used it um, but I only actually used it for a few hours so yeah then it has start back and the mode button uh, which acts as almost like back is like back in Android home you know mode is home and start is start <laughs> um, and if you double tap this on Android it, it brings up your recent apps stuff like that nothing major but like I said this is a cheap wheel that works with the Shield TV 100% I have not had a game that doesn't work some games of course they are not set up properly for a wheel like if you try to play uh, Asphalt 8 or something it's not set up properly I'm sure you could play it it's just there's no analog uh, wheel type support or anything it's just the car just kind of jerks left and right so it's you know as soon as it detects an input it just goes woof, woof, you know so there's no real support for that um, yeah so you can use this with that but it sucks <laughs> um other than that works great with game stream um it claims that it has a a, a rumble motor in it not force feedback but a motor so it, vi it supposedly vibrates i've also heard people say that's not true but that was in the description so i don't know but yeah i'm gonna put a link to this in the description if you want it um it's a lot cheaper than uh, even like these $200 wheels like I have, which are still considered cheap. So that's, it's fine. It's, uh, the quality is probably about what you would expect from uh, something this price, if not a little better. And uh, yeah, just uh, the biggest problem is that little bit of a dead zone issue. Um, but yeah, for the price, not bad. <laughs> Just, you know, I'm sure somebody could find something better and call me a douche. You fucking idiot. I could have bought something better and it would have worked so much better. And then you're an idiot. You got scammed. Fool. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah? Well, would it work with the Infinity Shield? No, but kiss my ass. Fuck you. <laughs>